Listen to what most Americans have to say about Lyndon Johnson and what he stands for. President Johnson, in my opinion, is one of the greatest Americans that we have ever had in the White House. And it would seem to us that he's a very eminently religious man, a great American, and a friend of all the people. The Democratic Party, uh, in representing all the people, uh, has stood for progressive legislation uh, such as social, uh, social security, unemployment insurance, rural electrification to the farms, and, uh, and I think they're concerned with the unemployed. Uh, who was sitting in there when we got Social Security? I remember where, right where I was laying in the cotton picking barbershop getting a shave, getting a haircut. And this barber and uh, another guy was talking about that Social Security business right in, in Detroit, Michigan. And they was both against it, and I got him walked out with him. He seems to be a natural leader. He has a tremendous background and experience, starting in 57 when he was majority leader. I mean, he, his whole life has been in politics. He's very conscientious. He seems interested. Frankly, I believe he's taking most of the issues uh, as they come, treating them properly. Uh, he's not trying to evade any of the questions that have been put to him. I think he's following pretty much the same trend as President Kennedy. I think that he um, is sincere in his efforts to uh, eliminate poverty and that he'll do all within his power to pass legislation to that end. Well, I think that he's giving Americans the image of a president constantly in motion and accomplishing things that are uh, worthwhile for the United States. I think he's a down-to-earth ordinary kind of a man, and I think that he has a good working relationship with the Senate. I'm a welder, and I've always belonged to a welding or a union, and uh, I think the Democratic Party is for unions. He's willing to face up to the difficult problems in the world and try and deal with them. Not, uh, he doesn't have any easy, fake solutions to things like Goldwater had. Republicans just seem to be there giving lip service to a lot of things, and the Democrats, I think, are really a little more interested in the problems. Because if the Republicans got in, it would be a disaster. I'm Work back for years uh, under the other administration for 10 cents an hour, and I ain't gonna work that away no more. Personally, he's a good man. Best trained man we ever had. We have a booming prosperity, and the economy's on the move. The things that have been done by the Democratic Party is for the common man. President Johnson's a wonderful fella. Well, uh, I think he's a nice guy. I think he's the man to do the job. He's got guts. Most Americans want medical care for older citizens, and so do I. Most Americans want fair and stable prices and decent income for our farmers. And so do I. Most Americans want a decent home in a decent neighborhood for all. And so do I. Most Americans want an education for every child to the limit of his ability. And so do I. Most Americans want a job for every man who wants to work. And so do I. Most Americans want victory in our war against poverty. And so do I. Most Americans want continually expanding and growing prosperity. And so do I. These are your goals. These are our goals. These are the goals and will be the achievements of the Democratic Party. Vote for President Johnson on November 3rd. The stakes are too high for you to stay home.